for hello and welcome back to the channel that makes you feel like you know you don't say your song for no apparent reason. Hello, well, that's my last video. So today, I thought I would try out a reality video. Yeah. Uh, so I apologize if it looks a bit crappy. Don't know really what I'm doing. No, no. Um, I thought uh, I would watch the video that I had a bit of experience in, which is going outside myself about it. Yeah! It's very brave of, you know, horror. <laughs> so, I, I actually found this video. A year ago, I, I, like, if you don't know, but I, I am a bit of, I am a massive dick, so, um, but that is my, my, so, the video that I was going to watch is of a cat with several poles and living in Australia. So, he's a very nice, polite young man, it seems. And as I, I couldn't get through two minutes of the video without going. So, um, if you don't mind if I show you what I mean. Oh, um, and I just want to make you that I'm, I'm not trying to like take anything away from him. I'm sorry. This is this way from the back of perspective of this video. So without further ado, you will see me react to this video. Hey baby! Hey baby! Do you know it's safe? And because the way I saw it, I think I'm... Uh, Mentally disabled, which is really frustrating sometimes. Walk a day in Jordan Milroy's shoes. Hey, Again, that's a blatant discriminatory act there. Yeah. The 25 year old has cerebral palsy, but from the way people stare and blatantly ignore him, he says he's made to feel like an alien. How could you stare at someone as big as you and you know someone at the same time? So it's a lot of sense to you. Don't, don't get that. Has the digitization that it feels like at you? Have you asked that any what you think of it? Like, if, if I saw it again, like, I would, I would be, like, in awe. Oh. I think I would be very interested in that alien instead of as fast. Which really doesn't go to. <laughs> Don't everyone say, oh, you can't say something. He's a subject. So, anyway, let's get home with this lovely video. People who are really negative 
and um, yeah, completely just fucked me out like I wasn't even. <sighs> I haven't started the video. No. Like, like, I was listening to the Australia. So I can't really comment on the culture there, but like in, in the UK, it's really, well, it, it seems rude to stare at someone in the room or anyone. So, so sorry. They are. They are looking at him to try not to stare at him. Which we, they just said. They were ignoring him anyway. Which doesn't make even more sense. Ah. Cut that bit. Yeah. Tonight, Jordan and his friend Conan Visser from special needs charity I <laughs> Can I Will want to demonstrate how hurtful people can be to those with disabilities, either deliberately. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Or unconsciously. To completely ignore me. Yeah, make me feel like I'm worth. So if you are unconsciously to something, are you? Could you be held accountable for that? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You see, I mean, it's really helpful. Like, oh, God. Or unconsciously. To completely ignore me. Yeah, make me feel like I'm worth nothing. Oh, oh God. <laughs> People are intimidated and shy. They shy away from the situation because they don't know what to do. Yes. People are educated looks. So they feel the birds are stuck in their and don't know what to do in the situation. They are trying to make you feel bad. That you just like it's really really tough. It is. It's still a leak about what able people feel like. Not fair. This inspirational and intelligent larrikin. I can, I will. <laughs> <laughs>has a following of over 20,000 people worldwide. Jordan Milroy is a star on social media. <laughs> so this guy um, is really popular. <laughs> but yeah, when he goes out to town, people prefer to make him feel like he's worth nothing. <laughs> like you go out to like London and no one will send you anywhere. <laughs> like, it's like what, what do you expect people to do? Come out and tell me when you oh, I, I knew that guy in the world. <laughs> if, if you don't, I, 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 I personally find that kind of irritating.
Media. Because he's defying odds, he travels around the globe climbing towers. To motivate others and raise awareness about cerebral palsy. I am the Defining us or something like that. I think if you are any person and you climb up a fucking tower, you are dividing it up because you're not inside of it. And why do disabled people feel like they need to climb up everything? To look He's also just finished a bachelor degree in public relations. I think it's <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> This is good. He can't do it in public relations. And he can't go out and talk to people. So, it's a lot of love that I want to do. I'm so confused right now. I As a disabled person, it's my responsibility to educate people before I start the old in the wheelchair, depressed, and didn't want to do anything. It's uncomfortable social situations, like the ones you're about to see, that makes Jordan and Conan desperate to change society's perception. Um, um, I, um, um, I agree with that. It's good to educate people. It's good that what you feel like you do. But, like, it's it's good about this is what they like to educate people. You need to communicate with them. So I don't know if he's out of but the guy I like myself got a bit of a speech development. I see now what happens when you get a speech development. People can't understand you. Maybe that's his problem. I was actually a little bit shocked initially, but it is kind of very usual Maybe. for Jordan to experience it on a daily basis. Here, Jordan is about to ask a middle-aged couple where the closest bathroom is. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
they look, then incredibly, they ignore Jordan. But it's a different story when Conan approaches them. Excuse us, guys. Do you know where the uh, closest toilet is? Um, probably Hungry Jacks. Yeah, they're fine. They're actually more than helpful. What about this businessman? It's baby. He throws his hand out as soon as Jordan opens his mouth, indicating he won't I help. Don't you. Look at Jordan. Oh, come on. And so with your first couple, in my personal opinion, it seems like if you watch the video, he's coming up to the couple that he acted in. And like they make get so I can but only for a second. And why is the only one who thinks he can't say excuse me very well? Which is the key words to you. I would say hello for Hello, so with you engage to put more instead of excuse me to someone. Oh, because I, I, it could be a little less to believe. Very, very important here. They are very, I'm just adding. I, and the other guy who makes the sound, he might be saying sorry for getting in the way or they didn't want to. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, if someone is scared of talking to a disabled person, they might not want to engage and embarrass. Um, themselves or the disabled person. So, I think there's a lot more. Um, very much to consider here instead of the guy who just moved because he was disabled. Right? and people are treating him like he has an intellectual disability. But when Conan asks... Excuse me, do you know where the closest toilet is? Just up here, just near that horse there? Yep. Just there. Okay, cool. Thank you. Did you know the show the camera who, who is a little bit like interested by the way? Can you up next to him when the camera stopped at the trailer like? And, and actually looked to him and said, excuse me. It's the same he talked to people. But that if you sound from as fast as sleep. Well, I said, feel me. I can't tell it. He was actually friendly. And it brings out the true colours in people. And if that name bobs me up, what type of person is he? That is so unfair. They are. Like, stuff like that um, is the reason why animal people are scared to talk to disabled people. Do you kind of, you, you didn't even get a chance to talk to that guy. Maybe he was saying sorry because he, he got in your way and didn't hear you because you talk like a sad. Anyway, um, okay, I got one minute 42 seconds of this video. 
Det har jeg skrevet ind til kæmpe. Frank, du er aktivere. This shocking scenario blew out. Jordan approaches a man on a bench to ask for directions to a local store. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hello. It's crazy. Hello. See ya. Three times, and the man doesn't even look oh, up at Jordan. Sister. But the same man immediately points Conan in the right direction. Jordan faces this a count. You can't say this, excuse me, Billy. You can't say this, excuse me. I can't say this, excuse me. Maybe like disabled and able people need more education about how to interact with each other. The guy with the guitar, he probably was listening to something. Unless you can catch someone's attention to your arm. Fuck. I hope. I can do it. I can do this. Number of times throughout our social experiment. For anyone to go through that, that's quite hurtful and damaging. When Jordan drops his keys, even though a young woman witnesses it, she keeps walking. Thankfully, seconds later, a man runs over and helps. No. That is a little dilemma for everyone involved. Like, this is, this is, if a disabled person drops something, I like uh, people won't want to help, but they would do right now what they feel patronising or intrusive. I also depends on what it is. Like, it was his key, so they had tried to find him, or his phone, or something like that. You, you don't want to see if, like, you were stealing from someone, from a disabled person either. So there's a lot of other variables that you come into failure instead of. Oh, oh, they are living a little to keep his mouth People are going to hate me for this, are they? Can't wait. I think it's finished. Do you know what the bathroom is? The kindness of this oh. couple, though, brings tears oh. to our oh. eyes. We'll take care. This heartwarming gesture is what Jordan has been hoping for all day. Why Jordan feels the best when people do that is because it's so rare, when it shouldn't be so rare. People are just the baby. Special needs. We're all the same. We all want to be included. I can't do what we did yet. We are all the same. We are all the same. So we got so differently in the building. So we were a scared. It's a little bit of this video. So good. Like, yes, we are all the same for the, the people who are just from the floor. But different cultures, different religions, different disabilities. Um, 